my students and I have discussed the word cognitive and realized that the notion uh, of something of, of cognition is itself fascinating and thought provoking. What does cognitive science mean? Where does it fit or differ from AI? And how does it play into your camp, as you put it a minute or so ago? Well, there, there's not a clear line between cognitive science and AI, and many of the same people sort of bridge the gap. However, cognitive science is generally about trying to identify trying to understand thinking in animals, including humans, and machines, perhaps. But it's less about the technology of how it's implemented. So in the, fundamentally, AI is a technology-driven uh, enterprise. It's mostly done in computer science departments. And um, whereas cognitive science is more deeply interdisciplinary and has very strong components from the social sciences, from philosophy, as well as influence from computer science. And so one is really looking at understanding, it, it has a more science basis, and that's cognitive science. And it, AI is, uh, again, this is not hard and fast, but AI tends to be more technology driven there by actually implementing a, uh, a device capable of some degree of cognition. Uh, Dr. Ford, uh, again, allow me to probe around to figure out where where you are in this spectrum uh, by asking some kind of a nuts and bolts questions about what you do today. And I'm reflecting back to my visits to Pensacola and yours to Baton Rouge and how your work may have evolved. But um, do you program? Uh, yes. What languages? Well, these days, mostly C and C++, um, also Java. But there are a lot better programmers here than me. Old guys aren't good programmers. Did you hear that, students? Uh, all right. Uh, let me ask you this. What about languages that are derivatives of Lisp, uh, such as Scheme? Uh, where do they fit? Uh, Scheme is, uh, is, is, is young compared to Lisp, and it has been used to reach out to high school students and, and us. Uh, where do those types of languages play? Uh, given that you are playing using C and C++ and Java, uh, as opposed to those other <coughs> fundamental types of languages. Right, the, uh, the sort of traditional AI languages like Lisp and Prolog are still in use in academia, in academic AI, um, but the use is dwindling with the younger generation of researchers coming in. So in my group, we all either started in our AI careers using Lisp for Prolog, mostly Lisp. And um, uh, a lot of that had to do with technical issues in how Lisp machines, there was a machine that ran Lisp uh, as its native language, a Lisp machine. And uh, there were a lot of technical reasons why this made sense for us and the structure of the language fit the structure of the AI problems we were working and it was convenient. So for example, our, our mutual friend, Terry Dibbison I'm sure we use Lisp as long as there's a Lisp interpreter left on the planet. 